The Divestor Tex. Black woman with a 30-inch bust down gets caught stealing homes with her old Hispanic man. I want you to pay very close attention to this story because it confirms what I have been saying about black women or divestors and their white non-black men. White and non-black men only wife divestors under specific circumstances which are, they are gay, they are criminals, they have a disability, or they have a drug problem. The reason why they marry black women is because no one is checking for black women and no one wants them around so it allows the white or non-black man to hide all his deviant behavior pretty much reduces the risk of him getting caught. That's the point. Now on to the story. After a new law passed last year that now requires Florida's clerk of court offices to offer a free property fraud alert system to homeowners, the system helped catch its first crook. Larry and Dreama Bilby decided to register their home while it was being renovated, and within two days they received a fraud alert. It turns out that another married couple, Michelle Cherry and Victor Rodriguez, went to the Hillsborough County Clerk's Office in February and fraudulently filed a quit-claim deed on the Bilby's property. This deed transferred ownership of the Bilby's property to Cherry and Rodriguez. I was so angry I almost couldn't talk, Dream told local Fox affiliate WTVTTV. The Bilby's also started to notice that some of their mail was coming up missing. They were also receiving things in the mail addressed to Cherry. We saw she registered her driver's license to my address, said Larry. The fraudulent couple even had food delivered to the house, which sparked neighbors to get involved. In March, police showed up at the property and spoke to Cherry, who told police it was her property and that she had been having issues with the previous owner. When Tampa police talked to Cherry outside the home in March. Well, it's my property. I've, I've been having problems with the previous owner. It's your property? Yeah. You're renting it? No, I, I own it. Cherry can be heard in the video explaining she has an agreement with the owner. So, what, what are you going to do? I just came to check the mail. But the neighbor, she says, snatched the mail out of her hands. So that piece of mail that he took from you, is that in your name? Uh, no, it was in Larry's name. But the police officer says he knows Larry. I talked to him last week, like, inside the house. Do you have a key to the property? Uh, no, he won't give me the key. I've been having a really bad legal problem with him right now. And almost two weeks after that... Do you have a warrant? Yeah, yeah. The couple was arrested during a traffic stop. Cherry called the police to the property after a neighbor intervened and snatched a piece of mail with Larry's name on it from her. When asked if she is renting by police, she looks at the officer and says no I own it and explains that she has an agreement with the previous owner. She also says despite being the owner, she does not own a set of keys because she is in a nasty legal dispute with the Bilbies, which was another lie. Two weeks later, the couple was arrested during a traffic stop for committing fraud. She had a forged deed in her car at the time of her arrest, Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez said. She is looking at over 275 years in the Florida State Prison for what she is alleged to have done, she explained. She has seven counts of a crime that is a first-degree felony, punishable by up to 30 years by stealing someone's identity, and that carries a 10-year mandatory minimum prison sentence. to a story about a scheme that hits close to home. There's a warning about a way that prosecutors tell us it's easy for criminals to steal your most prized possession, your home. You're about to see surveillance footage that authorities say shows the scam in action. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis has the story. This may look like a normal day at a county clerk's office, but look closely at this couple in the waiting room. Prosecutors say Michelle Cherry and her husband Victor Rodriguez were there to steal a home from unsuspecting owners. To have someone steal your property is, it's like stealing the American dream. It's terrible. We've seen a big increase in that sort of activity. According to Florida prosecutor Mike Lennon, Cherry made three trips to the clerk's office, stealing not one, but three different Tampa area properties with fraudulent documents using quit claim deeds, a type of deed that can quickly transfer ownership of property. They looked for properties that they believed were abandoned, and then they used online information to forge signatures on these deeds to file them with the clerk of court. Prosecutors say one of those properties belonged to Larry and Dreama Bilby. Just like that, your house is stolen. Yeah. It's gone. It only costs 70 cents. And, and some paperwork. The Bilbies tell us they weren't living in their home at the time because of construction, but they were monitoring their home security cameras, which they say showed the suspects on their property multiple times. They took our power bill and our water bill. They shut off our name and put their names on it. The Bilbies credit their county clerk's office with alerting them of the change in the home's title. Anytime anything is filed against your property, um, you get an alert, whether it's a phone call, a text, or an email. It is a free service. Even while Tampa police were investigating, the suspect seen here in this body cam video, adamant the Bilbies' home belongs to her. I own it. 
that I'm on the current deed. They were stealing these properties with the intent to try to get loans out on the properties or to try to sell them to unsuspecting buyers. Both suspects arrested. Do you have a warrant? Yeah, yeah. And charged with conspiracy to commit fraud. They've pleaded not guilty and are awaiting trial. A lawyer for Cherry did not comment to ABC, but Rodriguez's attorney says his client maintains his innocence. Some officials are now calling for state laws to be changed, making it tougher to sell properties using quick claim deed forms. The fact that the form is so simple and requires so little documentation um, is problematic. If you don't sign up for property fraud alert, you're just asking for the possibility that the same thing that happened to us. Been accused of property fraud. The homeowners in this case say the county's free alert system helped lead to this arrest. Speaking of that, court officials do tell us about 1,300 people signed up for their pro property fraud alert system after watching our story. So good news there. Prevention does work. Fox 13's Ariel Placencia joins us in our newsroom with more. Uh, hi there, Ariel. I know you're hearing from even more homeowners from them who say that they're victims of property fraud too. What did you find out? Yeah, that's right, Mark. So yesterday we told you about the arrests of that husband and wife who are both facing charges here in Hillsborough County. But according to court documents, the husband in this case is also facing similar charges in Miami Dade County, where new victims tell us he tried to take ownership of their properties too. This Tampa police body cam video was recorded during the March traffic stop when Victor Rodriguez and his current wife were arrested. Victor Rodriguez is my ex-husband. That's Carolina Sauer from Miami. Shortly after her father passed away last year, Sauer says her family made a suspicious discovery. We found out that the titles of my father's properties had all changed through quick claim deeds. We questioned, how did this happen? And when they looked at the documents, they had even more questions. Who forges a deceased person's signature? Who does that? These Miami-Dade court documents describe several fraudulent and forged deeds, allegedly between Sauer's father and Rodriguez. According to records, Rodriguez, quote, clearly forged his ex-father-in-law's signature. And this March arrest warrant from Miami-Dade County includes images of signatures on various quick claim deeds. The document only requires a notary and two signatures with an address listed next to them. Quick claim deeds are not difficult to forge, court officials tell me. It's why Hillsborough County Clerk of Court Cindy Stewart says she's pushing for tougher legislation on this, while making sure her clerks always watch for suspicious behavior. Misspelled names, addresses that don't appear that they actually exist, uh, misspelled cities. Meanwhile, Sauer says her family continues to fight her ex-husband in court. The hardest thing for us emotionally has been we've just tried to protect my father and his legacy. She says they hired a handwriting expert and have spent a ton of money in legal fees. So if you own property in Florida, her family's message is one of awareness. There could be multiple people doing this in the state. Notice how the divester got caught because the whites in the neighborhood didn't want her around? Notice how her white man was in hiding the whole time? Notice how the divester was the one driving while her white man was on the passenger side? This is how stupid and broke divesters are. They have to scam in order to get pasta and lobster. This is why you should call cap on everything the divester says because all they do is lie. The reason why they stay with broke white men or non-black men is because they like living the lie more than anything else. The divester tax.